Hey everybody, this tutorial is about showing you different techniques when creating a character outline. Start with creating a new document. I made mine 6x6 six six inches. Once your document has downloaded, hit file and place. I went online and found an outline of Spongebob because he is a well-known cartoon character. When your outline is placed, resize your image to fit the document. To do that, click on your image, hold down shift on your keyboard, and drag the corner of your image. I would recommend creating a new layer for each section of your character to keep your workspace organized. Click on your outline and then go to properties and lower the opacity. Next, go to objects, lock, and hit selections. This is so your outline will not move. Create a new layer and label it eyes. The eyes were pretty easy. I used the ellipse tool. A couple keyboard tricks during the creation of your circle are hold down the space bar to move the circle to a different location and if you don't want a circle but want an oval shape instead, hold down shift. As you can see, Spongebob's eyes aren't perfectly round. So after creating my circle, I selected the direct selection tool or A for a shortcut to readjust my point. Repeat this step for the rest of his eyes. Once I was done, I selected his eyes, right clicked on my mouse and made them into a group. I also reduced the opacity and locked them into place. To create the nose and the mouth, I used the pen tool. The pen tool may take some time to get used to, but the more you practice, the more you will get the hang of it. For Spongebob's head, it took a bit of trial and error, however, I found that the easiest technique was to use the paintbrush tool to trace his head in small sections. Once I was done tracing his head, I used the direct selection tool to adjust my points. Once all my points were adjusted, I connected all my lines that weren't connected by dragging one anchor point on top of another anchor point, and then I selected them both and right clicked and hit join. I continued using those techniques I showed you to finish up the rest of my character. Once I was done, I went to object and unlocked all of my layers. Once they were all unlocked and you have fully completed outlining your character, you can delete your outline layer. Next, I selected my selection tool or hit V on my keyboard and drag to select my entire project. Then I hit properties and change the entire opacity of my selection to 100%. As you can see, I need a touch of a few spots, such as his nose and his cheeks. I started by putting a white fill onto his nose. the cheeks, I used the add anchor point tool. On his eye, I made three points. One right where the eye and the cheek meet, and the other one right in between the center of those two points. Next, take your direct selection tool and select the center point and hit delete. For the rest of the touch-ups, I just extended a few lines on his torso and realigned his belt. To add a little color to my character, I started out with the easy things first, such as adding a fill to all shapes. The first thing I filled was the outline of his head. As you can see, the body layer is above the nose, mouth, and eyes layer. Next, I filled in the nose, eyes, and teeth to the desired colors. When I filled in the teeth, it overlapped. The smile. To fix this, I right clicked on the smile and clicked arrange and then bring front. For the cheeks, I decided to use a paintbrush tool. Once I was done painting over the white, I right clicked on the cheek and brought that to the front as well. I continued with both techniques to color in the rest of my character.
That is it for the character outline tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned some new techniques. If you enjoyed drawing and creating your own cartoon characters, try uploading one of your personal drawings and recreate it in Adobe Illustrator.